Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on digital communication. Now let's start with what is digital communication? Digital communication is a form of communication that depends on technology. It is a form of communication where the idea or data is encoded digitally as careful signals and electronically communicated to the receivers. Digital communication comes in many kinds. These are usually referred to as digital communication channels. These involve video conferencing, phone calls, email, and other kinds of instant messaging such as web chats and SMS. Even videos, podcasts, and blogs come under digital communication. Most firms nowadays employ a wide variety of online routes to join present and possible workers, consumers, and other stakeholders. This can be a blog, a mobile chat, or website. Moving on to the characteristics of digital communication. First, hierarchical nature is less. Second, far less centralized. Third, more regulatory. Fourth, greater degree of participation. And finally, encourages interaction. Moving on to some digital communication examples. Start with the first one, Airbnb and Instagram. Airbnb used Instagram to extend solidarity for accepting of people with various backgrounds and origins. This was never put across straightforward, but it was apparent that the campaign was time to let Airbnb express their thoughts on the current political scenario. They used the hashtag we accept hashtag to solidify their place as global famous brand that stresses on inclusiveness. A political expression can work or fail miserably in marketing, but Airbnb effects efficiently took advantage of this trending subject. Moving on to the next example of Warner Brothers and Snapchat. Warner Brothers teamed up with Snapchat for launching one of their ventures. They built the first ever voice-activated augmented reality lens. A snap code had to be scanned followed by the spoke statement, OK Shazam. After that, lightning bolt and smoke would appear over you and you will be seen in the Shazam costume. This was trendy and great for engaging. Next, Domino's Pizza Emoji. Domino's generated a lot of excitement among customers in 2015 with the help of some mysterious pizza emoji. It introduced something called tweet ordering which enabled its customers to order a pie through Twitter. Next, Burger King's Burn That Ad campaign. In Brazil, Burger King ran a mobile campaign that let app users virtually set fire to the ads of its fast food rivals. When the user set virtual fire to a rival brand's advertisement, they received a coupon for a free Whopper. This was created exclusively for Brazil users to promote Burger King Express, which allowed customers to pre-order and avoid lines. This genius campaign turned the media investments like Billboard magazine etc. of its main rivals into ads of their own. This never-before-attempted campaign was created and developed by David S.P. Now moving on to some advantages of digital communication. First, communication through digital medium happens immediately. Next, the impact of interference, noise, distortion are far reduced in digital signals. These are simple to create and less costly than analog circuits. The implementation of hardware in digital circuits is not as rigid as analog. And digital communication is convenient, efficient and quick. And finally, social media videos lets firms communicate with the large number of possible consumers in a cost-efficient and quick manner. Finally, the biggest pro of digital business communication is that it is widespread. A single text or email message can be passed on to thousands immediately. And finally, the disadvantages of digital communication. Being attached to communication devices makes it difficult for people to log off once a day is done. Work app pings and mail notifications do not leave the employer alone even in their residences, and especially at a time of pandemic when there's work from home. Every online communication carries the risk of being intercepted. Personal and work life merges into one another. Minus the opportunity to disconnect, workers can go through burnout and overexert in other ways. Next, hackers can break into virtual meetings and calls. Phishing makes it possible for the whole organization's online presence to be jeopardized. And finally, the biggest con of digital business communication is that it is widespread, which can aid rumors and miscommunication. So that's it, folks. This brings an end to the topic on digital communication. These are some of the sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.